another DJ Brutu beer review. Well, you see nothing but the big ass glass and the 750 mil bomber in front of us. And you see DJ's got the DJ Brutu shirt on. So you know it must be some special occasion. Well, what occasion is it? It's re beer review number 600, baby. And we're going to celebrate hitting a thousand subs with this video as well. We've had the stars align in this video. So I said, you know what? Since the stars have aligned, I got to pick a beer that's a star studded, kind of awesome beer. And what beer did I pick today? I picked one that my good buddy OD sent me way back when, when Johnny and I completed his 40 ounce chug challenge. And it's a beer from Browery Rodenbach. And it's their 2009 Vintage Oak Age Ale. That's right, it's their famous Flanders Red Ale that they <clears throat> fermented in their big ass oak folders or barrels, whatever you want to call them, fermentation tanks. And this one came out of barrel number 145. And some of these um, oak fermentation tanks or folders, whatever you want to call them, are actually almost 150 years old. That's pretty damn cool. And when they ferment this beer, they ferment it with lactobacillus and their proprietary yeast strain. So it gives it its own special flavor and taste. and every barrel has its own special flavor and taste so it's kind of like that you never know what you're going to get you can watch somebody review this beer and you don't know what you're going to get out of it because it's its own unique animal now this beer clocks in at 7.0 percent abv and between 10 and 25 ibus for the style now this brewery is out of uh what is it i think it rosalarine belgium i can't pronounce the first name but you know what, it came to me all the way from California where Odeed is, and I'm happy to have it today, and I'm happy to drink it for you guys today because it's a good occasion. So, I'm gonna get the foil off of this. As you know, I know how to remove this foil easily, and you can know it too if you watch my How to Remove the Foil video. <laughs> That's right, famous DJ Brewtube hits, huh? So let's get the cork off of this bad boy. I actually saw some folks drinking some of this particular beer the Oak Age series from the 1960s and 70s the other day, and it had like a cork you had to take out with a corkscrew and everything, but let's see how this one pops. Ooh, that's a, actually a shallow cork on that one. That one came off easy and with plenty of force. Okay, unremarkable. Well, I can smell the sour waft, wafting off of here. Now, a lot of you guys have maybe had the regular Rodenbach, which is their Flanders Red Ale, and it's really cool. This, is a, this was a favorite beer of Michael Jackson, uh, if you remember him the beer hunter now uh Broadway rodenbach is all is owned by the palm company you know they make palm and a, and a lot of other beers that you've had out of belgium really famous wow i can smell the sour fruit wafting off the front of this wow anyways i digress you're not surprised you've watched maybe 600 of these reviews or 100 or something i always digress don't i yes that's right anyways when i'm looking through this really clear i imagine there's some yeasty beasties down the bottom that we'll get to that'll make it a little bit cloudy but really clear pouring off the top of the bottle here we got about a quarter finger head when i swirl it plenty of glass lacing nice alcohol leg streaming down really just beautiful looking beer look at that guys yeah so i'm ready to dive in and see what aromas we get off this i imagine we're going to get some oak we're going to get some sour yeah i'm ready to dive in let's see what we got well right up in the front pungent tart fruit a bit of lemon but quite sour smelling oak vanilla tannic notes it smells really vinous it's got almost like a, it's got like a really strong red wine character to it maybe like a bordeaux or a cabernet almost but it stops short of it because there's a malt sweetness playing in the background that you don't get from wine and it's supporting the aromas, plus the vanilla and tannic notes seem to come through more than this than some wines that I've had. But the tartness is there. It was more sour when I first smelled it. Now as it's opening up, it's more of a tartness. You get a lemon, you get a dark, like, like um, sort of tart cherry and raspberry aroma. Well, well a lot, a lot of layers of, of, of like aroma in this, damn. I'm ready to dig in. I'm going to take a taste of this and tell you what's up in that department because that's what we all want to know about, isn't it? Cheers, guys. And thanks a million for sending this again, OD. Wow. Man, that's a flavor explosion. Very, very vinous. Very wine-like. Big up in your face tartness, not really super sour, not like mouth puckeringly sour, but quite tart, like tart, um, maybe 
ripe fruit that needs to be sweetened kind of thing. Tart raspberry, tart cherry, tart like um, berry fruits of different varieties, almost like a tart mixed berry jam in some ways because the sweetness comes in and makes it sort of jam-like. Then you get vanilla, oak, tannin notes, and a big sort of almost like grape presence here. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like dark, like black or red grape skin mixed with the wood, mixed with the vanilla, the oak. Wow. Such a unique flavor. Then the yeast strain is playing in there with a really, really light tinge of spice. But the 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 bitterness is not there, but the balance in this beer between the sweet, it's like a sweet and sour balancing act when you're drinking this beer. Goes down super smooth. You didn't smell any alcohol. You don't taste any alcohol. It's got a nice medium body. The carbonation is more present than it appears on this beer. If you swirl it, you can see it'll build up already. And when you drink it, it's very champagne-like and palate cleansing. Super tasty. You know what? Since it's review 600 and this is a big beer, I'm going to sit and sip, sip on this for a little bit. And I'm going to give you back, um, you know, some shout outs and stuff like that when I come back. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to make a better assessment of this. And I'll be right back because I can. See you then. Hey guys, I'm back. Well, I've been working on this beer for the better part of an hour. And if you take a look at it, even down to the bottom of the bottle, it's super clear. That gorgeous burgundy sort of mahogany burnt orange color that it has from two years in, the, in those gigantic oak vats where it ages. And this is the kind of beer that has such perfect balance and such beautiful tartness of flavor. It's just an awesome sour, man. What they impart into this beer in the um, with that oak aging that they do, I mean, that number 145, you're my new best friend because you just taste awesome and you made this beer something that you want to come back and keep drinking. It like calls you back to it the vanilla notes and the, the sweetness playing off of the sourness just like make it a refreshing just delicious beer when you drink it back your palates cleanse with each drink with the champagne like carbonation that's in there and just keep coming back for more i mean this isn't like a slug back back to back kind of beer yeah you hear me saying you want to keep drinking it but you don't want to chug it you want to sit enjoy it and just chill out while you're drinking this beer but the flavors man of the tart cherry and the uh, grape skin and everything and the tart raspberry I was talking about just amplifies it warms up and you sit and drink this. I expect this is probably about like 67 degrees right about now. And it's just delicious right down to the bottom of this bottle. I'm about like here on this and I'm sad that it's ending. It's, it's that delicious. If you guys can find a bottle of this, I mean this is, I've drank a lot of sours and this is hands down one of the best sours I've ever had. It's just awesome. If you can find this 2009 vintage, I don't know if you can. I haven't seen it anywhere. I think like 2010 or something's out now. It's a more expensive beer. It's, it's like 20 bucks a bottle. It's worth every freaking penny because you can tell they've crafted this beer. They've cut no corners, and it's just freaking awesome. So, you hear me totally geeking out on this beer, and I'm digging it. What do you grade a beer like this? Rate Beer gives it a straight up 99, A+. Plus. Beer Advocate gives it a 95. I'm giving it a freaking 99. I'm giving it A+. Plus. For me, I've had a bunch of different sours at this point, and the balance that's in this beer, and just the amped up, in-your-face flavor that it brings without being too sour, or out being without being too sweet. I mean, there's no booze in it. It's just, just a freaking awesome beer. It's not a beginner's beer. It's in the training wheels beer. This is after you developed your palate a little bit more, and you've been drinking for a while, and I'm glad I, re I waited to like review 600, because I'm really appreciating this beer at this point. And maybe a few reviews back, I might not have enjoyed it as much. I may not have had as much insight. And that's what this whole kind of like craft beer journey is. And the, th the reason that I keep, you know, pushing that variety is awesome. Because variety helps you learn and helps your palate learn and become more educated with what you're drinking. And makes you appreciate things in a different light as time goes by. You know, three years ago... This might not be in my thing. I was like, man, this just tastes like freaking vinegar or something like balsamic vinegar. Yeah, blah, whatever, right? Who knows what I would have said. But today, this DJ drinking it, I'm freaking digging it. I'm giving this shit an A+. Plus. So, to the next DJ's brew tube. Oh, wait, wait. I got to give some shout-outs. Shout-out to all my guys who rate, comment, and subscribe. The folks who've helped, you know, you know support the channel. You know, the guys who comment all the time, the folks up in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, in the UK, in Germany, down in Mexico, 
all those places, everybody that rates, comments, subscribes, man. I appreciate each and every one of you. Shout out to all my, all my guys up in Canada and the USA who we do our hangouts with. You guys know who you are. You know, too many to name, but, you know, I really appreciate you guys. And I also appreciate it when you think globally. I'm thinking globally today. I'm going to beer from Belgium. And you drink locally and you support the craft beer movement. So, guys, like... Um, Rodenbach can continue for so long and keep making this awesome beer that really you can't put all into words the flavors and the aromas that are into this beer you can try but there's so many layers for what it is it's just freaking awesome and it's in a class all of its own so to the next DJ's brew tube we got more and more reviews coming because it's what I do I sit in the basement I freaking drink beer and you watch me do it which yeah we like that Anyways, thanks man to each and every one of you again. I keep saying that, but I'm really grateful, you know, for all the support we get through all these freaking reviews. That's just awesome. So, till then, I got nothing but a bunch of love for you. I'm going to kick back and drink this beer here and give you, you know what's coming. What? You want it? That's right. A big ass. A big ass.